Welcome back. 2020 has been a year like no other, and extreme weather events are no exception from Snowmageddon in Newfoundland to the thick, smoky skies of Vancouver and flood and hail ravaged Alberta. Well, to talk about it all, Environment Canada climatologist Dave Phillips joins me from Barrie, Ontario. Good to see you, Dave. Thank you, Angie. Nice to be with you. Top 10 weather stories of 2020. My goodness, how do you pick? What hit number one? Well, number one, of course, was the uh, Calgary's uh, billion dollar hailer. You know, Angie, they've had multi million dollar hailers, they've had billion dollar floods in the city, they've had mm -hmm. summer snows and and, and winter wildfires. And this was, though, they could add now to their extreme weather superlative, uh, the most expensive hailstorm in Canadian history. I mean, this was like a minutes long hailstorm in the northeastern part of the city that dropped tennis ball uh, uh, hailstones, but propelled by winds of over 70 kilometers per hour. I mean, there weren't many windows uh, in, in that neighborhood that, uh, that, that survived this particular pounding. I mean, yeah. houses shook from this, uh, this, this hail. And uh, it was $1.3 billion. But Angie, we know that that's the insurance loss, but uh, that's only a fraction of the total losses to Calgarians from this uh, hailstorm. Yeah, no, absolutely. And we've got our top 10 list, uh, Dave. Right. When you look at that list, how does it compare to past years? Uh, I mean, you know, everything from, as you mentioned, the hail to, you know, the smoke in the B.C. skies to the floods in Fort McMurray. I mean, it was uh, to the extreme hot heat in the eastern part of the country. Well, you know, a lot of people thought weather just took uh, a time off this year. I mean, because of that pandemic, we didn't sort of think about these. And yet, you know, I think, Angie, we've, I've seen more more expensive years. I've mm. seen more maybe destructive years. But what I think stood out for me was the the impactfulness of the weather for so many Canadians, mm -hmm. the large areas. I mean, Eastern Canada having one of the, the hottest summers uh, on record. Uh, we saw, of course, four million people in British Columbia smelling that 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 you know uh, smoke from 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 California fires. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there were a couple of cities that were hit, but it was just the large region. So I think that Canadians and some Canadians. Uh, two or three times were inconvenienced uh, uh, by the uh, uh, by the weather. I think the other thing that stood out, Angie, for me was that what we saw was was weather kind of uh, originating elsewhere, but had an impact on the health and well-being of Canadians. Mm -hmm. And I think those forest fires in British Columbia is a good example. You know, we had a very low forest fire count this year. Mm. It was one of the lowest on record, and yet that smoke that came northward and fumigated parts of of British Columbia. People were smelling the dirtiest uh, air in the world at mm -hmm. that time. And, um, and and so I think that was the effect. We saw the hurricane, busy hurricane season. Yeah. We got to, uh, nothing like the destruction we saw in the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the United States in Canada. But we certainly, and, and actually there were some beneficial parts of that because we got some rains during a very dry summers. Mm -hmm. but, but I think there were, the number of Canadians uh, affected by weather seemed to be uh, uh, excessive this year. Yeah, certainly really quickly, Dave, before I let you go, I got about 20 yeah. seconds left. The climate, yeah. climate change. Yeah, yeah the connection. I, I think that, clearly, I think there is becoming more and more. Uh, you can never say that that hailstorm was a result of stuff coming about our tailpipes and smokestacks, but I think a number of events this year clearly were sort of rooted in the mm. fact that we're seeing climate changing faster and greater now than ever before. And, and that's going to be, Angie, the pattern that we see in the years ahead. Oh, yeah, it certainly will. All right, from Barrie, Ontario, Environment Canada climatologist Dave Phillips. Always great to see you, Dave. Thank you so much for this. You and your family stay safe. Oh, thank you, Angie.